beautiful Aries. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. My name is Q and I am here to do your general reading. We're going to take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with your energy. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling amazing. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. So we all know what we are dealing with right now. Beautiful energy, Scorpio energy. We just had that full moon on 5-5, five five, which was yesterday. Depending on your locality, um, that was Friday, 5-5, five five, May 5th. Um, we are also uh, dealing with Pluto in retrograde, Mercury in retrograde. We just had the eclipse energy um, that you, you know, ushered in. Uh, we also are in Taurus season. Uh, so there is a lot going on celestially as above, so below, as within, so without. Um, so I do feel there's, you know, there is a premise of transformation, of changes, of shifts taking place. And one thing Aries doesn't do is shy away from a challenge. Uh, you all are leaders. You are, uh, you know, that divine feminine and divine masculine uh, energy. You know, the empress and em uh, emperor are the, um, you know, the epitome of uh, self mastery. Uh, that is fire energy. So that is what we all aspire to be. Is that leader? Uh, we all aspire to take the reins and to be willful, determined, and to accomplish our goals, you know, to uh, go after our dreams and to do so with passion, you know, with with this intensity. And so I'm strongly feeling that you all are utilizing this energy uh, to your benefit. Uh, I am seeing that there are going to be uh, some really powerful um, downloads that you may start feeling um, yourselves receiving, whether the dreams, uh, maybe some of you all will start to uh, bump into people that you were thinking of. Maybe you were thinking of someone and they just called you. Uh, someone you haven't spoken to in a while may just pop up out of the blue, pop up on the grid. Uh, maybe some of you all are having an epiphany about um, some sort of career path you should uh, embark upon or some sort of uh, goal you should start to work on um but there's an epiphany that i feel you all are having some sort of um moment of clarity also if there was some fuzz or haze in terms of ideas maybe you were having uh some blockages if you're a writer or a creative you know whether you are a musician maybe you were having writer's block or maybe you weren't able to create as fluidly um it has nothing to do with your skill set or your talent or your gifts or your neglect of honing those skills i feel it's really just the energy right now that um you just have to learn to navigate you got to go with the flow um if you can't create then you know get out in nature because that is a beautiful way to get downloads or to receive some really fresh uh ideas fresh perspectives so perhaps taking a nature walk getting out of the house um it could be very healing it could be very um it can be very healing um, and very grounding for your energy because uh, I do get a sense of like sporadic energy. It's kind of like antsy or um, foggy to some degree. You know, maybe you're trying to figure some things out. So, you know, get outside in that sun. That raw is, is very healthy for you. Uh, it's healthy for all of us. It's a food source. It's also a means of, you know, providing illumination, strength, um, and just giving us... Uh, you know, just that, that rejuvenation that we may need. So that's what I'm picking up intuitively. We're going to delve in, tap in. We're going to use the Energy Oracle deck, my beautiful, beautiful, um, beautiful Aries. So look what we have here, beloveds. Look at that beautiful sun energy. Some of you all may have um, Taurus in your chart because we are in the sun sign of uh, Taurus. With this sun, I'm definitely feeling all of the aforementioned. I feel a happy ending. I also feel clarity. It is 440 on the clock. And if only you knew is playing by um, Patti LaBelle. So with that 440, that reduces to eight. Eight is, you know, the vibration of, you know, that strength that I was feeling, you know, strength. Maybe some of you all have just completed a karmic cycle that deals with karma as well. 
eight is associated to the strength card. So I do feel like you're now, um, you know who you are. I feel like some of you, you know, could be looking back in awareness and saying, damn, if only I knew then what I know now. So there could be this like, kind of like reflecting in, on the past, you know, looking back on some things that may have transpired. Uh, maybe you were uh, very um, afraid in the past to pursue certain things or to express certain um, things that you weighed, that weighed heavy on your heart. Uh, with this eight, I'm also uh, getting a sense of like, you know, like I said, karma dharma, you know, what goes around comes around. Uh, there could also be something that brings a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, um, you know, someone that could be perhaps realizing, you know, that they love someone, realizing that they wish someone knew how they truly felt. Maybe someone has not been their authentic self, have not been honest. I feel with this with this uh, son, um, this is almost like some happy ending, some fresh perspective or uh, someone having some sort of illumination or some sort of epiphany or an aha moment. But this also can be just a fresh start, um, really going in the direction uh, that makes you happy, you know, prioritizing you. If you look, she looks to be like in this pool of water and water is very cleansing. So perhaps, you know, with this Scorpio full moon, uh, there will be some things that you will be purging. People, places, things. There are, um, perhaps there will be some healing that's taken place. Um, maybe there are some spiritual baths that you need to start uh, taking as well to uh, energetically, you know, cleanse yourself. Uh, I do feel some of you could be artists or painters uh, because I do see like an easel uh, here as well. So let's see what we have on the slip. We have Mary J. Blige, and this is called I Don't Want to Do Anything. So yeah, some of you are coming from a place of depression. Um, maybe you were dealing with a very deceitful person. Uh, this is someone that may not have wanted you to do anything. Someone that was trying to manipulate you or keep you bound, keep you stuck. This is a controlling energy, very deceptive. They speak with a forked tongue, very, very dishonest energy. And maybe you've just finally seen uh, someone for who they truly were. This is someone that was like hidden. This is someone that definitely um, speaks with a forked tongue. Someone very uh, conniving, very cunning, uh, a puppet master, master manipulator. And you may have seen someone for who they truly were. Like I said, you had some sort of an epiphany with I don't want to do anything. Maybe this is someone who was trying to live vicariously through you. This just literally fell into my lap. So I do feel like this is like a bonus message because it fell in my lap like it chose itself. Someone that you could have been dealing with has perhaps some sort of obsession because this is what's underneath that sun card. But someone could have been perhaps sabotaging a love connection, Aries. I feel someone that has the key to your heart or you have the key to their heart with this daughter romance. Like some of you all are... Um, you know, now finding out that someone you could have pursued uh, was, you know, a Decepticon. This is someone that was very dishonest. This is someone that sold you a dream. If you see, there's a lot of red. So you could have gotten with someone that was very lustful, you know, very passionate. So that could have been the thing that led you astray from what you truly desired. With this door to romance, I feel someone could be trying to sabotage um you know this opportunity maybe this just speaks of obsession possession someone could have been you know very possessive in a connection definitely realizing you're realizing that you could have been like i said entangled with a decepticon so some sort of like incubus succubus situation going on aries you thought it was love, but you found out it was lust. You thought it was, you know, love, but you found out somebody could have been, you know, manipulating your energy through spell work. You know, this deceit card, that's like the devil. With the seven, I do get a sense of like deception, self-deception, even seeing what you wanted to see. Seven and six reduces to 13. So I do feel like there's a painful ending. You know, something is changing. Something's transforming within your life in regards to love, maybe learning to love yourself because the door of um, romance is saying that, you know, 
Um, this door, it could be seen as opening or it could be seen as shutting. So this speaks to divine timing. I see something showing itself behind. Okay, so we see here clearly with this, uh, this looks like the Queen of Pentacles, but it says woman holding a corn and the coin, and then we have deceit. So some of you all could have been with someone who could have been dealing with you because uh, you were their safety net. You thought it was love, but you were being deceived. This was someone gluttonous, greedy. Uh, this was someone controlling, like I said, someone manipulating another person's energy for what they needed. I feel like some of you all are now coming. It's becoming clear. That's why the sun is here, because I feel like it's, it's providing illumination and clarity as to who this snake is in your life, Aries. So let's tap and tune in. And with uh, Mary J. Blige, I don't want to do anything. And that queen of pentacles, the woman holding the coin, this was someone very lazy. So some of you divine feminines um, could have been dealing with someone who was very lazy. And so they could have just been very manipulative, a gaslighter, master manipulator is what I'm picking up because he's like, he has something in his hands that he's manipulating, that he's control, like controlling. And so I just get a sense with this deceit that they, they, they were wearing a mask. They didn't want to do anything. They used you. You know, they were using you. They were using you for your money or using you just for your energy. This was like an energy vampire, a leech, a parasite. They don't want to do anything. So this is someone that didn't want to contribute. They didn't want to reciprocate. They didn't want to participate, but they did want to benefit because if you are, you know, radiant and in this type of energy, the sun, you know, you are also shining that light, you know, on that person as well. And so they could have just smiled, beguiled, pre pretended to be something they weren't. That's why I'm getting a sense of mass. So let's tap in, beloved. Let's see what we got coming and going out for you beautiful Aries. And we have right now on the clock, I mean, on the playlist. And it's 447, so that's 8 and 7. And that reduces to 15, which is 6. So trust your intuition. You know to trust your intuition now. I feel like that was the lesson. I feel like you know to trust your intuition. So let's see, who is um what is our who or what is our beloved Aries attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck. Look at that. You're protected. Archangel Mikael is here protecting you, and this is the number eight. So you have been protected from um, karmic lessons. It's like Archangel Mikael definitely cuts you free from any yoke, spells, hexes, anything that, you know, anyone has placed upon you. My throat is getting blocked. So this is someone that I feel like was speaking a lot of, um, you know, false narratives, perhaps gossiping about you, perhaps, you know, defaming your character. Archangel Mikael is protecting you. I feel like you uh, definitely with um, who is this playing right now? We have um, Rock Steady here, and this is Aretha Franklin. So I do feel like with this Rock reference, Rock Steady, I feel like you know Archangel Mikael has been your Rock, has been your protector, and it's allowing you to continue your journey to continue. Um, whatever this this uh, voyage is that you're embarking upon because underneath that we have journey so i feel like archangel mikael is protecting you on your spiritual journey and he's going to keep you on this steady path to self-love to knowing your self-worth so what flew out for what you're attracting we got storm warning so that's the reason why uh spirit is telling you to um you know, trust your intuition and to look alive because someone is trying to rain on your parade or someone, you know, like I said, uh, with that 10, uh, this could be the end of a cycle. You know, this could be very indicative of a completion. Um, this could be some really, you know, um, hostile energy coming towards you to pick a fight, to argue. Maybe you're seeing, you know, perhaps uh, the entanglement with a particular person um, is only going to progressively get worse because this person is like, you know, it's just like they are um, like a whirlwind of, of emotions. So they cause a lot of drama. It's like it's it's unexpected also. It's like, you know, with when you think of a tornado, um, that's something that just happens um, without any warning. So it's like, you know, you could go from 
happy to sad dealing with whomever this person is or that's their intention that's why i was saying like a leech or a parasite and with rock i feel like spirit is telling you not to budge when it comes to uh whatever decisions choices you make don't budge trust your intuition because there is someone trying to cause confusion with the one and the ten that reduces to two um because 11 reduces to 2. So this could be someone manipulating your energy like that deceit card just showed. Because 2 is the uh, the high priestess or the high priest. Um, someone trying to manifest some turmoil. You know, some, some t drama in your life. And that's why spirit is giving you, uh, you know, the ability to, um, to counter attack. Not even counter attack, but to be proactive. Um, to, to, you know, manifest whatever you desire to to uh, be that magi that alchemist to protect yourself to give you the clarity to see you know just what you're dealing with what you also have who how they feel about you is the angel of balance so 48 that's 12 so this is someone seeing you in a different perspective because you've turned your back i feel like you have a lot of angels surrounding you um to bring to restore some sort of balance uh, because this is someone that obviously threw you out of balance. And so maybe this is, you know, kind of like their, um, their, uh, this is their, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Aries. This is like their technique, you know, their tactic. Thank you, spirit. So their tactic is to explode, you know, to, to be, you know, um, to be very negative in their approach, to cause confusion, conflict, to bring challenges, to argue. This is not a good energy. This is someone very, um, very intentional, very manipulative, a master mis um, manipulator. So this is how they see you, very balanced. So it's almost like they want to, they want to um, bring some sort of. Um, disharmony in your life it's like they're trying to throw you out of balance out of equilibrium you know they're now looking at you uh as someone who's you know in control because that three that this 48 gives is you know associated with the empress that's someone who's also with the solar uh plexus which is associated with that number three that's someone confident that's someone in control uh very assertive very strong very wise um, and very courageous. So that's how they're seeing you now. And they're trying to bring this peace. But something has been exposed. You see someone for who they are, what they are. And we have Sarah Smile playing by Hall and Oates. So yeah, they see you as finding a sense of peace. You've created a sacred space, a safe space for yourself. That three is the empress. The empress is self-aware. She knows her worth, knows her value. She knows she's powerful. So she creates, she master manifests, sets intentions. She knows how to utilize that, that uh, energy of as above, so below, as within, so without. So you could be, you know, utilizing um, this full moon energy also. You know, maybe you are um, calling in you know, calling in certain manifestations to bring balance, to restore the balance. With these pyramids, I do feel like you are uh, very much in alignment, mind, body, and soul. If you aren't in alignment, mind, body, and soul, I feel like your angels are bringing you into alignment, mind, body, and soul, so as not to fall um, into the trap of arguments, beef, drama, negativity. What we have here for what's hidden is we have patience. And this card showed up in the Cancer card, Patience. Good things take time to create. 16 um, reduces to 7. So when you find balance within yourself, that 7 is associated with the char chariot. Then you can take action. So it's really about, you know, uh, doing your internal self audits. It's about really being introspective. This is beautiful. It's also speaking to what's hidden, you know, patiently waiting for opportunities to unfold. There's a lot of angels showing up because I do feel like this has a lot to do with divine timing. Whatever you're experiencing or whatever you've experienced, um, your angels are teaching you a lesson. There's a lesson being learned here. 
So we have one and one, that's two. There's two, and this, um, what is that, eight, 12, that's two and three, that's five. Yeah, you've been learning a lesson. So five and seven, teaching and learning. You've been learning. Perhaps you've been learning from another person. You know, perhaps you've been learning from someone. Maybe you've been looking to someone for guidance. But this is also speaking to, like, teaching and learning. That five and seven breaks down to 12. And that 12 breaks down to three. That three deals with... Give me one moment, please. Pardon me, y'all. So... That is definitely, hey, Cataras. Hi, Frandu. Hi, Frandu. So that's definitely telling me that you've been preparing for something. That three is also showing, like, you know, I'm getting the three of wands, planning, preparing. And that's why you're being um, told to be patient. Because whatever you're preparing for or whatever you're planning on, whatever you're strategizing right there, now, it's going to require time. I'm hearing good things take time to create. Um, so just be patient with this process. Archangel Mikael is here on the bottom of the deck. Hi, my friend. So Archangel Mikael is here to cut you free from any karmic cords, yokes, hex, spells. He's protecting you. A lot of you may uh, pray to Archangel Mikael. You may see Archangel Mikael as um, your father. Your spiritual father. He's also, you know, giving you the courage, um, you know, to take your power back, to define what stability, security is for you. So let's see what uh, the outcome is for my beautiful Aries. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for Aries. Wow, that card flew up and out. And look what's showing. So we got the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel, which I spoke of. The third chakra is your solar plexus. Move into the beat of your drum. This is also speaking to um, just being, you know, strong, being courageous, and also being uh, wise in your decisions. You know, uh, your stomach, your solar plexus acts as a second brain. So it's really about, you know, moving to the beat of your drum, doing what you feel inspired to do, what you feel called to do. You know, this is about trusting your inner wisdom. But look what's showing up. I feel like spirit is choosing this card. So look at that. Wow. So the, as I'm seeing this, this was hiding behind it. So this is an attachment. So this is a time. So the card that flew out, remember, we was, I spoke on strength. There goes strength because that eight was showing up. So this strength is showing that's what you had to muster up. You had to muster up the strength, the courage, and the wise dome to pursue a dream, to pursue a goal, to go after something that you desired. Give me one moment. My apologies, my beautiful Aries. So yes, so the strength card showed up as your outcome. Um, and we also had, you know, this uh, these two cards here, the door to personal healing and happiness. And then we had attachment hiding. So there are some, you know, perhaps these are uh, some of your own vices that you may have. Remember, I was speaking to someone wearing a mask. Um, so I do feel like there is uh, a very deceptive energy or maybe this is even self-deception because that five deals with like the hierophant. It's also the throat chakra. Uh, this could be your own ideologies, belief systems, realizing you were wearing a mask. Maybe you realized that you were bound to a certain belief system that was not serving your highest good. This is a very dark energy, dark period. So maybe you've discovered some of you all were bound to very toxic connections and relationships and you're taking another look at the situation um and i feel spirit is opening you up opening up this opportunity for you to have peace for you to have joy so this is beautiful so i feel like you're going to power through something because it take it's taken bravery if you see here this 50 that five strength you know, the angels are definitely surrounding you, protecting you. We just saw Archangel Mikael. We have an angel here on the patience card, which is telling you that good things take time to create. And you also have an angel of balance, which is restoring uh, some sort of balance in your life or bringing you back to a space where you can see things clearly. Maybe this is how you get to this place of personal healing and happiness because you are uh, braving a circumstance, confronting something and getting rid of uh, what no longer serve you. 
Uh, the five is, like I said, it, it could be um, something that was challenging you. Uh, this could be a thought process. Uh, there's yet another angel underneath here. Uh, some of you all definitely went through some sort of karmic lessons. Um, so you may have had matters of the heart uh, that taught you valuable lessons. Uh, and you may have had to, uh, you know, trust your instincts or your intuition when it came to love or when it came to, um, you know, uh, a dynamic that you were a part of. But that five, whatever the confusion, whatever the conflict was that you were dealing with, whatever this is that you were attached to, whether it was a habit, a behavior, uh, whether it's an addiction, affliction, a person, um, whether you just felt bound within your own self, bound, uh, you know, in whatever way, it's like you do find the strength to confront that, to deal with that, to uh, continue to pursue uh, whatever it is you desire. Uh, because this door is open, this left a jar for you uh, by your angels and your guides. So I do feel like this, there's an ending here, there's an ending. You've found the strength to muster through something and this ending is bringing about a very beautiful new beginning, almost like a wish fulfillment because we just had um, that song, um, what was it? <sighs> something about a star. There was a star, I can't even remember, you know. Um, so yeah, but anyway, let's let's proceed. So this is your beautiful reading, my beautiful Aries. Um, trust your gut instinct, use your intuition. I do feel like there is something uh, very beautiful that you're on the precipice of because this 37 uh, reduces to one. It reduces to 10, 10 reduces to one. So I do feel like this is, you know, really a beautiful new beginning, a new start. And it's everything within you is telling you uh, to move um, in this particular direction. And I feel you're doing so uh, very assertively, very confidently. And that's very beautiful. So that's a lovely, lovely reading, um, my beautiful Aries. And we're going to end it there. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, send a big fat. I'll see you. Peace.